Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation for my final project for the Mallet program uh, for Suzanne Forbes' EDET6060. Um, just a quick overview of the actual project that I was working on. Um, so I, I've kind of been an ongoing project for me uh, and this course gave me the opportunity to kind of enhance that project and make it um, even better, uh, hopefully, um, using, uh, using several e-tools. Uh, so some of the ones that I'm going to go over here, and I'll get to that in a minute, but uh, Twinery, YouTube, Google Sites, and then, and then a plethora of other. So um, <clears throat> so overall, the, the goal for this project was to use eTools and design a course uh, that implements digital media into my hands-on and face-to-face -face classroom. Uh, the curation and design um, to design an online course for the electrical students in the ECM program at Hudson Valley. Uh, learn how to implement eTools into the course design and then build a comprehensive online course through digital media, uh, which I use Blackboard for that, along with a few others. And then overall, uh, the goal here is to improve student learning by implanting digital media into the classroom. Um, one uh, mind mapping and organizational tool that I did kind of fool around with a little bit, um, but I just wasn't that comfortable with it was uh, Poplet. Uh, so I did kind of get in there and, and, and tool around a little bit, but ultimately, uh, I went with Twinery. So Twinery for me, uh, I'm just a, a lot more comfortable with it. It kind of uh, lends itself to to my thinking and my, my mind mapping uh, a little bit better. Um, and I just kind of want to take a step out of here and show you some of uh, what I created with that. So you can have in Twinery, you can have your mind mapping page, and then you could also, uh, in a sense, kind of kind of walk through it. You can click on some things, uh, and it'll take you to different pages and uh, kind of give you an idea of you know what's what exactly is there's the project about so this is um this is my page here and, and as you can see uh, i got this going for my capstone as well um so again it's something that i've been working on it's it's a really large project that i've uh, used this course really to help build uh, into a better a better version of it um let me just get back into okay so i use twinery as my organizational tool my mind mapping tool and uh, it really helps me out a lot. It gives me the option to kind of see, you know, a step-by-step -step process. You can see here all my lesson plans and things like that um, that are going into this. So you can see the different lesson plans that I have, basically the different learning modules that I have within my course. And then some of the presentation tools that I explored, obviously here I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, I also looked into using uh, Prezi as a presentation tool. Um, Camtasia is one that I have used in the past. Uh, it's a little bit more of a video editing software, which is really nice. Um, but for presentations like this, I typically go with screencast. It's a little bit more of a seamless process getting the videos into YouTube. And then Zentations was nice. And again, I, uh, I tried using that a little bit. Um, I had some trouble linking the videos up with the PowerPoints the exact way that I wanted to. And then ultimately TechSmith Relay is something that I've used in the past um, and is part of my coursework where I do interactive quizzes with my students. A uh, couple of the research and data collection tools that I use. So for this one, I actually used uh, Google Forms. And then Easy Search is one that I wanted to point out because it's a Chrome add-on, which I like. I really like Google Chrome. Uh, I use a lot of the Google uh, Google applications on, on the platforms. And uh, I'm going to get into some of those in a minute here. Other useful e-tools that I came across, I really like Google Sites, which I just mentioned I use a lot of Google stuff. Uh, I've created f several portfolios in there that can kind of help, help me kind of uh, keep things in line and uh, ultimately, you know, compile all of my projects and keep them in areas where I could see those. And we'll take a look at that in a minute as well. And then ultimately, we're going to take a look at the actual course that I built in Blackboard, uh, which is an, a learning management uh, system that I use through Hudson Valley Community College. And then we'll also take a quick look at my video library that I've been creating. Uh, over the last couple of classes. Some of the other softwares that I use, you know, digital tools of sorts, uh, we use RS Logix 5000, which is a PLC software that's specific to programming the PLCs in our classroom. We also use Connected Components Workbench, which is a software that's used for programming VFDs, which are variable frequency drives. And then ultimately, the students will also use, and I teach uh, with Factory Talk Machine Edition, which is an HMI software. So here is a list of basically some of the conclusions surrounding my project before we jump into um, the actual 
things that I've created. So ultimately, I was trying to create a video library to implement a flipped classroom and transition the ECM program as a whole eventually uh, into a hybrid style learning through digital media, which we were kind of forced into through the pandemic. Uh, and, and a lot of the work that I had been doing had finally kind of come to life, uh, which was which was unfortunately a really nice uh, outcome from the pandemic. Uh, and then ultimately the goal here is really to improve the students' hands-on learning. And by creating the flipped classroom, kind of a hybrid style learning, uh, that's one of the goals there. And then they prove the, my ability uh, to design and deploy digital coursework. So sometimes uh, things aren't necessarily that clear to my students. And this course has given me the ability to explore other tools, which will uh, hopefully help me improve myself and improve the student success. And then um, overall, improve student success and understand the electrical courses uh, by giving them some stuff to look at outside of the classroom that is digital media rather than just the traditional textbook, obviously. Uh, although I do use an ebook now um, through Cengage, the, it's it's something that I've been trying to implement where it will hopefully uh, create a community of practice, and that's something that is also part of my my future goals. So, in closing, really, uh, I'm hoping to get a better design and evaluate the course's success through this project. So I've created Google Forms. Uh, that I've deployed inside of Blackboard so that students can go in there and give me some feedback. And then I'd like to reflect on that student feedback, uh, something that I hope to do every year and take that with a grain of salt in some cases and, uh, and, and improve, uh, improve my coursework and improve my abilities uh, to deploy digital media into my classroom. Um, ultimately, I'm going to assess the project success and areas for improvement uh, through that student feedback and then also through my, my students' actual success. So my goal really as, as an instructor is always, if you know if I do my job correctly uh, and the students do what I'm asking of them and try their best and do their job correctly, um, you know the result of that really should be a successful grade in my course. Uh, not necessarily always an A in the class, um, although that would be nice, but you know the students should be able to succeed in this course with all of the, the tools and the hard work that I've been putting in to try and get them there. Uh, and then ultimately evaluate the process of course building. And uh, overall, the project was successful. Really, I, you know, the, I've been able to pilot this course uh, previously. And in the future, I hope to create a better community of practice for my students in the online learning platform. Uh, some of the things that I've, I've kind of considered using there, is some um, social media and even discussion boards within the learning management system. Uh, lastly, I have a bunch of the e-tools uh, as reference links um, as part of this PowerPoint. And then now we're just going to jump over to some of the things that I actually did create. Okay, so here I have a bunch of tabs open and I have my um, my ECMN course evaluation. Uh, I have another, oh, sorry, this is the ECMN course evaluation. And then in here, I have uh, two of the forms that, I, that I've kept uh, through this process. So I have the untitled form which was basically creating sample test questions. Uh, and then this one, which is actually going to, I'm sorry, back and forth. Uh, this is going to be my course evaluation one. And then this is the, the example test questions. All right, um, in Screencast-O-Matic, which I'm using right now, uh, I have a lot of experience creating videos, as you can see here. Um, and then those videos, I more often than not, uh, will create and, and put into my video library, which is on my YouTube channel. So here you could see I have over you know, 50, 60 videos that tie into my classroom. And it goes for everything from PLC stuff uh, into transformers, motor controls, Zener diodes, uh, SCRs and triacs, which that's all the semiconductor stuff that I, that I start off with. Um, and you know, it's part of, part of the coursework that I put inside of Blackboard as well. I've even made some uh, introductory videos so that the students kind of have a better understanding of you know, what this online portion of the course is meant to do and meant to help them with, um, you know, kind of give them, get trying to get them off on the right foot and, uh, you know, trying to help them understand really what the, what the Blackboard portion of the course is meant to do. All right. And then here I have uh, my Mallet portfolio, which I've included my e-tools, my theory uh, surrounding teaching <clears throat> research, and then, you know, some things about myself as well. And in here I, I've been building <clears throat> building my portfolio of all of my mallet projects. Um, one other tool that I have used uh, as part of this project and I continue to use it uh, professionally, uh, I go into Outlook 
and I use this for my uh, my calendar and my scheduling. I have this linked uh, to my cell phone, so when I have meetings and things like that, or I have deadlines for projects, I'm also able to get um, get notifications to remind me and help keep me on track. So, in the actual course that I built, this is this is the learning environment essentially, uh, and from my page I can navigate to this. The first thing that students really see is um, is the the announcements page. So here you could see, you know, I've, I I do job postings for my students when employers are uh, either coming in. I I can make um, class cancellation announcements or you know whatever the case may be. Um, and then also you could see here the you know kind of the introductory message uh, along with the link to the video. Um, that the students can go to and get an idea of, okay, where can I go to get information? Where can I go to get started on this? So I usually have it go, have them go to the course information. And in the course information, I have some you know typical things as far as the ADA statements and my course syllabus. Uh, and then one thing that I, I've added uh, from actually student feedback is a detailed um, course schedule with dates, uh, kind of keeping them on track with the topics for those labs, uh, the, the actual lab number, and then the unit in the textbook that they could refer to for some of that stuff as well. So I've you know, tried to make this as seamless as possible because a lot of our students are not really there for the online learning, right? We always get that, that pushback from them. And then when you jump into my weekly modules, I have kind of an outline of where you, know, where you can go, where you can get information and then how to contact me. So I try and make my email as available as possible to my students so that they can get in touch with me. And then these uh, weekly modules coincide with the schedule that you saw previously. And inside of here, uh, for example, if we go into week four, so I have the lab, then I'll have the link to the demo video that explains the lab. So I typically ask that students will go in and look at the video before they come into lab for that week. Uh, so that when they get in there, it's not the first time that they're hearing about that about that topic or what that what they're going to be asked to do for that day. So that's basically the flipped classroom design um, that I you know I'm asking them to do. And then ultimately, uh, in this lab area is where I have them submit the completed lab along with their lab report. So then that's where actually the actual grading takes place. So in the classroom, uh, you know they work together. I'm there to help them. And then after they leave, they go and they do their lab reports. Uh, here is going to be the course evaluation area. So the course evaluation, uh, I asked them to take this short survey to better help, uh, you know, develop this classroom. And then some of the um, some of the questions in there just, just basically surrounding, you know, was this course effective? Um, you know, do you feel that the, the videos helped you and things surrounding that, which was my ultimate goal for the course. All right. So um, I hope you I hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, that everything kind of mapped itself out. Um, one thing that I really am trying to get better at is, uh, is trying to convey my, my thoughts and my, and my ideas and things that I'm actually doing um, in my classroom a little bit better into my projects. So most of the stuff that I mentioned here and I had time to mention um, is taking place is something that I'm actually piloting. Uh, and then ultimately, you know, there's some more things that I'd like to try and work on specifically the community of practice uh, and basically creating something outside of the classroom that the students can really, really interact with and get a better understanding of what's going on. Well, thank you for, uh, thank you for watching and uh, look forward to graduating. Thank you very much. Bye.